Hey, Nancy, need something? Didn't I hear you were dating Jake? Hey, a girl can make a mistake, can't she? See you later. Bye, Nancy. Hello? Is this Martha Winterglassen? Who is please calling me? Um, no. I'm trying to reach Ned Nickerson. Nancy, it's Ned. I, I thought with you being undercover and everything, I had to take on a different persona. Ned? I'm the one who's undercover, not you. Okay, okay. I guess I'll just go undercover vicariously through you, which for some odd reason feels very deja vu-ish. It'd probably be a good idea if you didn't mention my assignment to anyone. You never know who may be related to this case, even up at Emerson. Your secret's safe with me, along with your heart. Oh, you're such a sweetie. Enough lovey-dovey talk. It'll make me miss you even more. So have you found any homicidal secrets yet? Connie won't let me into the teacher's lounge. Look at the bulletin boards to give you a way to get Connie away from her post. Talk to you later. Ciao. How's it going? I'm really sorry you got injured. Does that affect your chances of playing college ball? I had a little sprain. No big deal. Within a week, I was better than before and impressing the football scouts. I'm as strong as ever. Goodbye. Bye, Nancy. Why all the questions? What's going on with you, Nancy? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. Connie, the student monitor to the rescue, again.
This is Nancy Drew. You called me and threatened me? No, I didn't. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes, you did. I saw your caller ID number. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Um, I'm sorry, miss, if you're having trouble with your air conditioning. We'll send a technician to find a permanent solution. I'm not talking about air conditioning. I'm talking about you threatening me. I didn't threaten you. Look, I'm not going to play this game with you. Hi, Nancy. Bye, Ned. Bye, Nancy.
Hmm, that medallion Connie is wearing is kanji for crane.
Carl's English essay is the same as this essay. How's it going? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't pay much attention to Jake. I'm tired of talking about that loser. Tell me about the robbery at the drug station pharmacy. Why would I know about a robbery? All I know about is football. I'll talk to you later. Bye, Nancy. You plagiarized your senior essay on etiquette, and Jake knew about it. Yes, Nancy. I'm very ashamed. My family will be extremely unhappy about this terrible mistake I have made. Somehow, Jake found out I copied that old essay. Then he blackmailed me into doing his homework for him. Why did you copy the essay? I had no other choice. My family won't let me stay in the United States unless I get a scholarship next year. I had to take extra courses to earn the scholarship. Before I realized what I had done, I was buried in work. I copied the essay because I was desperate. What happened when Jake found out? Jake demanded I do all his homework for the rest of the semester, or he would tell my family everything. What else could I do? My family was depending on me to succeed. Were you desperate enough to kill him? I was not happy about the situation, but I would never kill anyone. I value human life. Please don't tell anyone about this. I beg you. You will gain nothing if you do, and it would destroy my family if they knew what really happened. I regret what I have done. Please let me have this chance to become a doctor. I promise to make up for this mistake, even if it takes the rest of my life. If you didn't kill Jake, do you have any idea who did? When I delivered Jake's homework to him the other day, he mentioned being late for a meeting with Daryl Gray. It was very strange. I didn't know they were friends. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? I didn't know Jake was interested in video. I avoided him whenever I could. See ya! I must go now, Nancy. Hey, Nancy, need something? Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? No. Why are you so interested in Jake anyway? I gotta go now. Later. Nancy, I'm starting to wonder about you. Your medallion has a symbol that means crane, and crane is the name of the judo school on the poster in the gym. What a coincidence. Funny, I never noticed. I gotta go now. Later. Okay. 
Hey, Nancy, need something? Someone set off the alarm on the soda machine again. <sighs> I'll be right back. Hey, gorgeous. Glad you stopped by. Daryl, I appreciate the compliment, but I'm seeing someone else. Hey, I'm just saying what I'm seeing. So, what's been going on? Well, your uncle isn't here if that's who you're looking for. I'm sorry for saying this, but he's kind of a Mr. Cranky Pants. How so? He's on edge from drinking all of our coffee, and last week he seriously freaked out on me. What happened? I don't know. He lost something in the diner and accused us of stealing it. He went kind of psycho. Do you know why Jake had an empty video cassette case in his locker? Why were you in Jake's locker? It was open and I just looked through it. Oh. I have no idea. What else can I do for you? Someone said you were caught soaping up the windows on the teacher's lounge. Yeah, I totally got busted. It was a senior prank. I had to spend two days in detention. Wasn't that the night Jake was murdered? Yeah, I guess it was. Never really thought about that. Is your dad the owner of Gray Enterprises? Is yep, that's him. I have an internship in the computer department at the plant. It's mega boring, but it'll look good on my college application. Didn't I hear that Gray Enterprises went bankrupt? So what if it did? My dad is working really hard to get the company back on track, and it doesn't help to have vultures like you gloating over it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I didn't mean to gloat. That's okay. I'm just a little touchy about it. What else can I do for you? Hal Tanaka told me Jake said he had a meeting with you once. But I thought you said you hardly knew him. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had to talk to me about work. Bye. Oh, before I forget, someone left this note for you. It was on the counter when I got back from break. Bye, Nancy.